So obesity, smoking, alcohol, physical activity, these are important for us to understand. That's why you're here today, so we can make this a healthier island, a healthy community here on Guam. The MCD started because there's a need in our community to address MCDs. The Pacific Island Health Officers Association has declared Guam and the Pacific jurisdiction as an MCD emergency. Our cases of chronic diseases keeps rising, you know, and we cannot just let it happen. We have to start now, otherwise we'll find our community a very unhealthy uh, community. My name is uh, Chuck Tanner. I'm the uh, chair for the Policy and Advocacy Committee. Uh, we affectionately call ourselves the PANDA, Policy and Advocacy, because we can advocate for policy. In other words, I can talk to senators, I can, I can push for legislation, and I, I think that's important. So our goal is, is really to look at the strategic plan that we've come up with in NCD, uh, that the, the action teams, and then we are really a support arm to help those action teams develop and get legislation passed um, or advocacy, just being a voice for, for good things. My name is Audrey Tafasman and I am the team leader for the Alcohol Prevention and Control Group. Our ultimate goal for the alcohol team is to basically reduce uh, alcohol use and abuse to include underage drinking amongst our youth and adults. Uh, part of our One Nation campaign is we have families that pledge to be alcohol free at a, our Guam Liberation Day. And so every year we have more families uh, pledged to be alcohol free. And every year we just see the numbers increase. So that's a huge accomplishment for us. My name is Peter Cruz. I'm with the Tobacco Action Team. With, with the tobacco team, it, it's basically decreasing the use of tobacco in Guam. Basically lead the way as far as the laws and, and hopefully the pricing of tobacco products here on Guam. So we work closely with senators and, and we meet with them and we give them our suggestions of, of what can possibly be done as far as education of the youth. Um, and we've really, in the past years, we've really hit the elementary, um, high schools uh, as, as far as making sure that they understand the public law, the usage of tobacco within school premises. Um, we have several avenues now in which people who want to quit can, can, can take. My name is Brad Hewitt. I am a member of the Physical Activities Group. Our Physical Activities Group has four objectives. My group is particularly involved with is lowering, reducing childhood obesity rate, especially in elementary school and getting uh, after-school programs at the uh, elementary school level and ensuring that children are receiving their physical activity uh, for the recommended 60 minutes per day as per the uh, CDC guidelines. I'm Charlie Morris. I am on the uh, NCD uh, Consortium Nutrition Action Team. The team has now split into breastfeeding group, the salt reduction group, and the fruits and vegetables uh, gardening group. Uh, concentrated mainly with the breastfeeding group. It was uh, breastfeeding month uh, just recently and they did uh, various activities to promote that. We have uh, successfully changed uh, some legislation, made it law that uh, mothers are allowed to breastfeed in public. So the NCD consortium covers that whole gamut of individuals who need the assistance and support of uh, a consortium such as this. All I can say is that addressing the NCDs is not only public health concern. Each and everyone here in Guam has a responsibility to help us really make our community a healthy community. So I appeal to all the people in Guam to take part in these efforts. Okay? You can do it in your own way. Start by being healthy, extend it to your family, encourage your family to be healthy, active, eating healthy food, and then it will reach out to the community. If you can show to your community that you are doing this, I'm sure that it will be contagious. People in your community will follow.